This is a demonstration of eight drywall anchors. It includes the cheap expansion anchors, several of them, several different sizes, a couple of self-drilling anchors, and toggle anchors. This one here is the self-drilling. You don't need a pilot hole, although I do recommend using an awl or a screw to make a mark. Otherwise, it's going to take a lot of force and time to drill it into the drywall. You may as well, if you have a drill, you may as well drill a hole. If you don't have a drill, then you can install this with simply a screwdriver. This one here is the Easy Toggle. It's similar to the self-drilling Easy Anchor in that you just drill, put it into the drywall, turn it, and then the threads will screw into the drywall. But this one has the addition of a toggle in the back which springs out, gets tightened against the back of the drywall and can hold much more weight. And then you can use a uh, either a washer or a hook or whatever you're, you're hanging on to it to hold tight up against the drywall. This is the snap toggle. It's one of the easier and uh, stronger anchors, but it is one of the most expensive. Some of the first ones I'll demonstrate are these little expansion anchors. They usually come with uh, whatever you bought to hang up on the wall, shelves, or uh, you would want to hang on the wall. Recommended tools are an awl, a screwdriver, and a drill with varying sizes of drill bits depending on whatever you're putting into the wall. You want, you're going to want to be able to tap the anchor in so that when it expands it holds in tight so you don't want to drill a hole that's too big. The way it works, these expansion ones, you just drill in a screw and as you can see from the back, the screw pushes the anchor apart which will give it strength. The second one didn't expand very well but the third one did which will give it some strength, probably five to 10 pounds. It wouldn't put too much weight on it. And this one is the self-drilling. I'm demonstrating how to do it without a drill. But as you can see, if you had drilled in a quarter inch pilot hole, it would have been much easier. You could have pushed it in all the way up to those threads and then turned the rest with a screwdriver. In addition to being threaded into the drywall, the back of it is designed to expand and break apart, which will give it strength similar to the expansion anchors. You have to look at the weight rating on all of these anchors that you're going to use. It'll tell you how much weight you can hold. This one, I believe, is either 40 or 75 pounds. The smaller ones are 40. This one was, uh, I think, about 75 pounds. Similar to the Easy Anchor, this is the Easy Toggle, where you don't need a pilot hole. Although I recommend making some kind of mark or else you, you risk moving it around and it won't be exactly where you want it to go. So make at least a mark with an awl or screw, or preferably even a small pilot hole. This one gets threaded into the drywall as well. You don't want to over tighten or else you'll strip those threads. But the main holding power in this one is the toggle. After you put the bolt in, it springs in the back and then whatever you're 
tightening to the wall you just tighten by turning the screw and then that toggle will hold tight to the back of the wall and then this one I believe can hold about 100 pounds this is the snap toggle and this one you will first drill a half inch hole this one doesn't get uh, self tap so you need to drill for this one a half inch hole it's very easy you just push it in uh, you pull the make sure the two tabs are together which makes that uh, sticking up vertical and then what you'll do is you'll push this little ratcheting strap all the way up to the drywall which makes sure that the back is tight against the back of the wall and then all that's left to do is snap those parts off and put in the bolt and tighten it whatever you're tightening to the wall goes through the back and then it holds tight to the wall. 